Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And right now we're going into, we're looking a little bit more into the Weaver theme and how you can change all the different uh, sidebars and footers and the different headers. It's a very cool theme and it lets you change the areas that you put your widgets in. This is a sidebar here. But it's got a lot of them that you can use and move around to uh, make what you want where you want. And let me show you how all this works. Okay, here we are in the dashboard under Appearance, under Widgets. And this is where you have the widgets that you can move to these different sidebar areas. And this, just a, it, Actually, they really are widget areas. You may put them on the sidebar or other places. Um, as you can see right here, this is the primary widget area. This is where you put your widgets. It's going to show up on your first main sidebar, uh, depending on where you put it. Mine, I cu customized and picked out this green color off my header, and you can see this is it. Now down below here, you can see the secondary widget area. Now this one right now, I think is like transparent. I can change that color to something else, um, but I labeled it so we can see where it is. As you can see right here, it says secondary widgets. You can add different things over there, slide them over, and that'll give you a different widget area. Now maybe you wanted a different color. You don't want that color. I'm going to go over again how to change in Weaver these widget areas to be what you want them to be. To show up the way you want. Okay, we're going to go into Weaver Admin. Main Options. And then over to Widget Area. And here's where you can change the color. Actually it has white. This is the secondary widget area. And I can change it if I'd like. Here I am in GIMP and I have my header. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. This is just a way I like to pick colors. And let me see what it would look like to have that for widget um, area. I'm going to click. See, this is the, this is the code that it, it, it tells them what that number is, what the color is. So here you can see this is the two widgets. You see the top one and the bottom one and the two different colors. And I can change it. I can make this one a lighter color and this one a darker color. They can both be the same color. But this way, if you have two different widgets, separate widget areas on the side, you can kind of differentiate it and put different types of information in at one spot and the other. Anyway, that's how the secondary widget works in changing colors. Okay, we are back in widgets. And you can see the Weaver alternative widget area. And this is a cool one. Um, you have some page templates that you can use in Weaver. And you can say, okay, I want this particular um, text to show up on this template. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to go into the contact page. And look over here on the side where it says page attributes. This has to do with your pages. Your pages have different uh, templates that you can use. You have the default template, which I have on a lot of them. I also have on a lot of my pages themselves, have the um, one column, no sidebar. However, there's other things that we can do too. And right here, we put the alternative sidebar left, or I could put it on the right. I have it on the left right now. Well, I had it on right, so we'll go ahead and keep it on right. Um, but what it does is it... Um, let me put a widget just on the pages that have that on it. And as you can see here, and like again, I'd probably change the color on it. My contact page, it would be good if my uh, social media buttons were on that because that is a way for people to contact and stay in touch. So that would be a perfect reason to use the alternative page and put a widget there so that it's got just my uh, social media bookmarks. Have fun.